If everything goes well, but you're still not feeling well, maybe it means something is not right. Hey everybody, what's up? Today's video is a little bit different because it's not about design or business. It's about mental health. And I think this video is important to do because not a lot of people talk about this. And especially I've seen on Twitter that some women complain that not a lot of men are opening about, um, so uh, like mental health issues. So I think it's important to, uh, share something like this. So here's basically the story. Last week I've shared with you kind of the, the Kiev log. I was on, um, a training, a trip where I, uh, went to Kiev, Ukraine to do a Webflow training for a design team over there. And uh, I did a vlog about this. This experience was really, really good and fun. It's, it includes everything that I like, which is travel and meeting people and, and doing training and stuff like that. And basically, it was really, really fun as you can see from the video, but in the middle of this kind of like trip, an afternoon one day after we kind of finished the training, I basically had something like a panic attack where I went back to the hotel and uh, try to get some sleep, some rest before dinner and just like felt horribly wrong. Like my heart was pounding and I was feeling really stressed out and there was just no reason whatsoever for this because as I said, I was doing everything that I liked. I was getting paid to do everything that I liked. So everything was um, supposed to be great, but I wasn't feeling well at all. Um, on top of that, you know, I was kind of like, oh, but I need to keep vlogging. I need to keep doing content for Instagram because I'm here because I want to tell this story because this is really important for me to share. But then again, I don't want to be fake, right? I don't want to be happy, happy on, on YouTube, on Instagram where I actually I'm not really feeling well. And so I was on top of not feeling well and being stressed out, I had this kind of like feeling bad about feeling bad because I need to keep, you know, YouTube going and I need to keep everything uh, running because this is part of my business now. And this was just adding stress on top of that. And this was actually a second week, which I was very stressed out because even the week before, um, before I went to Kiev, I also had this similar type of feeling here. Um, now, this is really out of line, let's say, with reality because basically things are going really well in my business. I'm making more money. Um, and of course, there's a lot of work and stress, but this is not something you know, that I didn't have in the years before. I always had client work. I was always pushing myself and I was always having a lot of stuff on my mind. So it wasn't something out of the usual. And when that happened, when that happened on my trip, it was kind of like raised me a, a red flag for me. Um, also, I was kind of feeling bad in my stomach for a few weeks now. And I was reading a little bit about this and I saw that it might be kind of like stress related. So I was, that was kind of like the red flag for me. I was like, okay, if everything goes well, but I'm still feeling like shit and it, it's literally hurting my physical feeling, which is the first time in my life, then maybe I need to take care of that. Now I'm 36 years old right now and I never went to to a therapy, something like a psychologist or anything like that. Um, never felt like I needed it before in my life. And for the last year, I've been working weekly on, with a business coach. And I kind of felt like in a way having him to talk to him about everything that goes in my business, but even, you know, beyond my business kind of uh, give it, gave me that um, therapy type of thing that I need. Also, in a sense, I felt like that having this YouTube channel where I, I kind of share and I'm open about everything in my life in front of the camera, it was also kind of therapeutic for me. So I never felt like I really need to go see um, a psychologist or something like that. But at this point, when that happened during that trip, I was like, okay, I need to take care of this because I don't think things are going to change in terms of my business. It's not going to be less stressful. And And as I said, it's out of touch with reality because everything should be fine, right? And, and I'm not feeling fine. Um, I should be super happy, but I'm really stressed out and I'm not enjoying um, what's going on in my life right now. So last week I came back to, to Israel and then I took action on it immediately. I've asked for some recommendation from uh, people I trust. Um, and I got an appointment last week and I went and actually I was really uh, nervous and excited about this uh, because it's 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 a new experience for me and I didn't know how this would go. But honestly, um, 
it was really, really, really good. Um, honestly, and that guy was really, again, somebody that was highly recommended. Um, they said he's one of the best, maybe, I don't know, in Israel. I don't know if that's true, but let's say that he was one of the best. Honestly, in one hour, he, in a sense, found found the reason that was stressing me out. And it was really not what I was thinking about. Um, I thought it was very much business related, but turns out that it wasn't really business related. And just understanding that and having that conversation with him really released it. And I think I was already expecting some kind of a long process where I have to go weekly or something, but that conversation was so revolutionary or Rev, I don't know how to say this, but it revealed a lot to me and it, it kind of helped me to uh, decompress this on my own. And even he told me at the end, you know what, I don't think that you need to come again. If you feel like you uh, need to come again, you can come again. But I really think that um, you understood it now. And I also felt that way, felt really, really relief and felt like I learned something new about myself. Um, so that has been my experience. I'm feeling much, much better now. I also feel more confident right now that I've took this first step and did something that I never did before in my life. And now I kind of have this resource. I know that if I feel this way again, I can go there. I have somebody to talk to that. And I don't think honestly that I could have done that on my own. Um, even though I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing meditation. I'm trying to be very self-aware. Um, working with somebody else who's really a professional helped me reach some some conclusions that I don't think that I was able to to do them um, on my own. I, I don't think I could have reached that conclusion on my own. So point is, end of the story, I feel much better now. I feel much more confident by having this resource where I know I can go there if I need to go there again. And uh, yeah, my recommendation to you, whether you're a man or a woman, if you don't feel well and you think that it doesn't make sense, you know, obviously there's ups and downs in every day, but if you think that it it's not the way that it should be then i think that if you can afford it obviously i know it's a privilege for some uh ha going to talk to a professional mental health professional i found it really really useful so hope you'll take away from that i don't know if you had some kind of a bias against it i know that i think that i did for many years like if you're gonna go to a psychologist what does that mean does it mean that you're crazy and i, I think i enjoyed for many years telling myself the story that I'm strong enough to deal with things on my own. And that was maybe part of the reason that I would never went before. And, uh, yeah. So I've lowered that defense. I was like, yeah, let me, let me get some help. And, um, maybe I can't <laughs> deal with everything on my own. And that was actually really, um, helpful. So hope this was helpful for you. If you've been considering very, very recommended, now let's get back to the normal design and business stuff, feeling motivated. It's going to be an amazing week. Have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next video.